Well, it's that time of the month again. Uh, uh, Gabby's uh, set for a feed, and she's a bit out of position, but she knows. Oh, geez, Gabby, easy. Why are you hitting your face like that? Why don't you be reasonable and just uncoil in this direction and I'll give it to you. Like I said, she's expecting a feed and uh, when Gabby wants something, she really lets you know she wants it. Come on. Come on over here. This way. Come on. Come on. Mr. Rat is over here. If you can get that, well, okay. Gabby's can do incredible things, but with her strike partially blocked, uh, I would be really, I would be surprised, but not totally shocked. Come on. Come on. Okay, hold on. Come here. I'll assist you. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Now you're ready. Yeah. Oh, we're going to be pissy because I touched you? Huh? Is that so, huh? Here, since this is a big one, let's see if we can get it properly orientated for uh, for ingestion. Oh, good job, Gabby. Man, that was an impact. There, are you still mad at me now for touching you? Huh? The spectators down below are like, Mmm, that looks tasty. Is that okay, Gabby? I see that pupil pretty big. Huh? You happy now? Okay, look. Let's do this. Come on. Alright, let's not do that. Come here. I gotta work in the cage below you and I don't want you breathing down my neck. Easy Gabby, easy baby. Ah, oh, that's a good girl. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now we're both safe and okay. The adult male parviocula hasn't uh, eaten for a few months, uh, probably since July or August or maybe even June. I'll have to, uh, to check the official records and uh, this is the first time that he's seemed interested in food and the way I'm doing it is sometimes you have to be not so direct with the uh, food stuff. You have to play it in the leaves, make rustling noises, and then, you know, sometimes uh, they'll, uh, they'll go for it then. He's been deliberately trying not to lunge and startle the female because well, that could get him bit and you can see that he doesn't have very much in the line of uh, uh, forward footage to, uh, to to do a strike. Oh, but he definitely did it that time. Okay, bud. Thank you very much. I was beginning to worry about him. <laughs> Thank you.
figures. The camera's not on Gabby, and she's doing uh, all sorts of uh, uh, undulations uh, to get her jaws back into place. That's right, bud. Go the other way. If the if you eat that one, I'll probably give the missus a try tomorrow. There you go. You found it. You got the right end too. I don't really want to disturb him. I would really like him to eat because he hasn't eaten in quite some time and is starting to show a little thinness. Now because of the cost of these guys and the rarity I really haven't uh, I haven't treated them with the normal uh, purgatives to get the uh, any intestinal parasites out um, because sometimes that actually uh, hastens their death a um, friend of mine uh, who is in, I consider to be an expert in trimasaurus and cryptolytrops he said that he got a guy brought in a whole bunch of cryptolytrops in Solaris and uh, promptly started uh, giving it uh, the typical purgative which is uh, Pancure and ended up uh, killing all of them. Uh, the ones that uh, I've given him, uh, he's obtained for me, were untreated, as are mine and Bob's, and they're all doing uh, fantastic. A matter of fact, uh, my friend Darren's has actually reproduced, and I think he produced the first captive born Cryptolytrops in Solaris in the U.S. Good boy. Oh, that's so nice. Excellent. Excellent. I am so pleased. You know, during breeding season, there was no hope in the world to get him to feed. Uh, breeding season is over. <clears throat> and hopefully... You know, the missus doesn't uh, intervene there, otherwise I will have to intervene. Well, what are you doing? What are you going to do? You're going to drag it right on top of her, right past her nose. Oh, man. You're going to create a problem that doesn't have to be... Uh... Oh, what, are you going to offer it to her? Here, look. Here, honey, look what I caught. If he does that, I'm certainly glad I got the tape running because uh, that's totally unheard of in the uh, uh, snake world, absolutely. Hey, Mama, you keep your tongue in your mouth and mind your own business, please. I don't care what he's brought you to eat. I don't want you messing with his meal. I think maybe he saw me move the camera a little bit there. You know, venomous snakes realize when they have their mouth full that it's not so easy for them to defend themselves in a what we consider a normal, robust manner. So they really have to trust you uh, 
the feed you know basically with you sitting there wa watching them like Hans does and uh, Kermit you know and a few others Uh, Bob's over and we're working with this big uh, unknown cobra and uh, this guy seems to be if the camera would focus um, relatively calm wouldn't you say Bob? Oh yeah I'm making up for his excitable tendencies <laughs> He's very curious and actually probably enjoying his uh, his time out of his cage but you know, the whole idea of taking him out is to inspect him. Get out of the lens, bud. <laughs> is to inspect him. Uh, all right, good. He's probably going to steal the hook again. You know, these are like the only light areas on him. But, uh, but he's like uh, totally kicked back. Yes, you, you venomized this camera, bud. You know, he's not hooding. He was a little bit frightened when I took him out because he wrapped his tail and was rattling his tail, but after a minute or so here on the tabletop, going from hook to hook, he's just, uh, uh, so far, so good. He is the most laid-back nausea that I've ever seen. You know, even he even puts red to shame. I could never do this sort of thing with Red. Look uh, look where I got my hand. It's a foot back of his head, and he's just uh, cruising around. Now, I gave up on taking still photographs <laughs> because he absolutely would not sit still. Hello. Oh. Do you want to point that handle the other hook in my, in my direction so when he steals this one I have something? Yeah, this is an infamous hook stealer. Hold on. There we go. One button. Come on. Hey, hey. Yeah, he's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's inspecting the camera, and of course he wants to climb. And I'm the tallest thing that's nearby, so uh, I am the I am the chosen one. Hi, oh yes, you're you want to cuddle, don't you? <laughs> I don't. Um, there's no hint at all of a subdued spectacle pattern. Because remember, folks, as I said, black packs are just melanistic uh, common cobras from India that are on the southern uh, uh, extent of the range. And this clearly does not have any sort of pattern. It has a big, boofy head and a totally black color. So my guesstimate would be that this is a Nyan necrolis or necrolis I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly and I think uh, the subspecies might be uh, wood eye but I will uh, I will defer uh, uh, to expertise I will uh, I'll probably send a, a couple of the pictures uh, uh, to whom I feel is an expert in, with culvers, and it, it certainly doesn't matter what I feel. Uh, I think uh, by his peers, he is the no one of the number one culver guys in the uh, world, Wolfgang Wooster. Uh, he's done more uh, phylogenetic studies on these uh, this genus uh, than anybody else. Uh, you know, he has colleagues and stuff that he works with, and and you know. Those people, uh, you know, do a lot of the work too. So uh, my hats off uh, to those folks also. It's calming down pretty good. Yeah. He's 
motel wrap here. Well, also he's he's not he's not offended by by the touch of my hand. Now, if I did that with the straight nausea nausea or the snouted cobra, uh, the next stop would be the uh, ER with some antivenin. But uh, he is. Uh, I guess what well, we'd, we'd call a pussycat as far as uh, uh, African cobras are. Bob and I were laughing earlier that, geez, uh, at quick glance, the size of him and the size of the head, you'd think he was a Chapel Island tiger snake, but uh, that we're certain it's not. Oh, wouldn't that be a, a surprise in a pisser? Um, so at any rate, uh, he's, a, he's a good sport, and uh, I'm running out of battery, so um, I'm going to cut the camera off, and since he's calmed, I'm going to see if I can get some more stills. But... Oh, well, you have to do it that way, huh? You have your own particular way of doing things, huh? Indian Cobra Cam. Now he's looking forward at the camera. And I'm not going to get him all wigged out because he's a bit of a violent chap. And he'll go bouncing around the inside of the cage and I don't want him to hurt himself. But as you can see, he's uh, making short work. of that mouse and yes I do see shedding that's left on you you can see his uh, pointy things there in his mouth uh, they're short compared to some of the other characters in here but quite effective so let's see if he uh, would be interested in another I'm out of large mice so I'm giving mm, small mice hey, there you go Oh, good guy. There you go. No, put that back in your mouth. Okay. Now, come on, don't hide behind your water ball. And I'm out of uh, small rats. I just have these jumbo guys. So otherwise uh, I would feed some of the snakes that prefer uh, large mice, small rats. But I'm out of those too. Not even drying these off so much. Ooh, cramp in my hand. There you go. Good job. Uh, look, it's wet. It, it'll go down. It's good for you. You don't normally do a lot of drinking. So just enjoy it. Ready for another? How about Indian Cobra Strike Cam? Or Feeding Cam? He's not going to strike. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. That tasty, huh, bud? He was always a very, very good feeder and a calm snake up until this year when he uh, has reached sexual maturity and then during mating season he went off feed 
and he just became foul. I'm going to try another. Oh, is that good, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's nice, huh? One other, here he is. Oh, okay, here we go. That's the camera, this is the mouse. Oh, hey, can't have the forceps. Wow, look at that close up. Okay, that's all for you, bud. I'll give you some more, uh, maybe midweek. There you go, common cobra.